When it comes to comparing an older car to a more modern car, usually the one thing that gets brought up is features. The things on an older car tend to break down and you lose stuff like power windows, power locks, or maybe those things weren't even options at the time. And that is one of the downsides to the W123 that you've seen on the channel a few times is, with time, some of these features degrade. One of which, particularly troublesome in my opinion, is the cruise control. So we're going to be doing a little series now in figuring out what's wrong with the cruise control and how to fix it. So to get started, we're going to need a multimeter that will measure DC amps. You can use a clamp meter like I have, or you can use a regular probe style meter, as long as it will measure amps up to about one amp. It shouldn't need to be much more than one amp. Um, you also need some jumper wires for what we're checking today. And from there, we'll get into more of what you'll need in later videos. So let's have a look at what we're gonna check today. Today we're starting out under the hood of the car. We're gonna be testing this guy, the cruise control actuator. How this works, which I have the linkage disconnected right now. This linkage normally would connect to this arm and the cruise control, when you accelerate, it pulls this arm, which pulls your throttle. So it can accelerate and decelerate and it disengages and engages the motor inside. So in order to test this, we need to come over here to the driver's side uh, fender wall. There's the tack amp and the glow plug relay right in front of this little connector right here. And so if we disconnect this connector, this male side with all the pins is what we're gonna be messing with today. The female side over here that stays on the firewall uh, runs back in into the inside of the car, which we'll get into in the next video. So what we're gonna do is test these pins and see if the various functions that they control in this actuator are all working properly. Here's how I've got this set up. I've got our jumper wire coming from the positive and negative on the battery. I've got the faux pro set up so you can see the arm and the um, multimeter. I need to switch this to DC and zero it out. And so now it's showing basically nothing. So on this other camera, hopefully you'll be able to see, we're going to first connect to pin number five over here with our negative. And then we're going to connect to pin number four over here. And again, the on-screen display will help you see what's what on this. So, hopefully you can hear that. If you hear that motor turning and you see the amp draw, that's 163 milliamps that's being drawn by the motor. And it sounds okay, maybe a little crunchy, but there's a range that that should be in, and I believe 180 milliamps is the top end, so we're still in the okay range with that. So the motor is working, it's turning. We know the motor's working. Now we're gonna move our negative up to pin number seven on here, and we're gonna take our positive and tap and release it on pin number six over here on the other side. So we'll hear the engage solenoid click if the engage solenoid is good. That's pretty audible, pretty obvious. It's not drawing an insane amount of amperage, 261 milliamps. That's not bad at all. Now, for extra show and tell, we're going to connect our negative to five and seven, and I'm gonna make an attempt at touching four and six with the positive so that you can see it pull. So I'll engage it and then run the motor and hopefully you saw that. See how it won't come back because the solenoid's engaged? Disengage the solenoid, springs right back. We'll do it again. So there you have it. That basically tells us that all of the stuff under the hood of the car is working. The actuator is pulling. Um, 
All of the amp draws are in the range that they should be, so under the hood, we're done troubleshooting. The cruise should work from an under the hood perspective. Now we're gonna go inside the car, check out the uh, cruise control control stock, and make sure that's all working, that the brake control circuit is working, and that um, from there, we'll have to look into the actual cruise amplifier. So stay tuned for all that stuff in an upcoming video very soon. Thanks for watching.